I see here we have like three different transmitters and mm -hmm. what are the types of transmitters that we have mm -hmm. uh, currently available? Okay, um, I know for a fact that there's three different kinds, but I guess it comes down to budget basically. Okay, okay. Now, uh, this is a six channel transmitter. Six channel transmitter. It's very, very simple. No frills, gets okay. right to the point. Uh, you can pick this thing up and fly. But of course, uh, there's not as much you can do with it, so to speak. Well, right? hold on. Uh -huh. When we say six channels, do, mm -hmm. do you mean that they control six different aircrafts? What do you mean when you okay. say six channels? Six channels simply means that it has six channels of control. What does that mean? Well, for example, when you're flying a, a uh, an airplane or a helicopter, you always need to add gas, okay? Or in other words, add power. Okay. That takes one channel. Okay. Okay. As you okay. increase this, you increase power. But that's one channel. So in other words, that's one instruction so, to the apparatus. Like for instance, you have six channels, that'll take one channel out of the six. Yes, exactly. Okay. That takes one channel out of the six. Okay. And then if you need to control on an airplane or helicopter, something called the, uh, the, the yaw. Okay. Yeah, the orientation. The orientation. So that means that's another channel. Okay. Okay, so that as I turn this joystick over here and I turn it left to right, that takes another channel. Okay, as up and down two. is another channel. Okay. Again, the same thing. There's two joysticks here. This one controls another channel of the uh, the object. And then up and down also controls the other channel. So that's already four. Yes. Already four. Okay, that's already four. Now, the two other channels are left to be programmed on these switches, as well as this and this, depending hmm. on what you've got there. Right, right. Okay. So that's what the channels are for. So in short, if you have more channels, you have more flexibility, uh, more flexibility, and uh, more control that you can map into the transmitter. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay. okay. To give you an example, okay, especially when you're talking about aerial videography, the best value is an eight channel. Okay. Why the eight channel? Because it takes a minimum of about four to be able to fly right, the object. Right. As you get it up there, you might need to do certain things to be able to control that particular object. Like if you want to tilt your camera or... Exactly. So the tilting of the camera, there is this gimbal right here. Now notice it's how precise this thing moves. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. So that means that if you only want to tilt it a few degrees, then you just move it down a few degrees. Okay, okay. Whereas some of these are mostly switches, so you can't quite do that. Right. But this one, you can actually adjust the tilt okay, as well as the pan. So there's another one right there's here. There's another one, yeah, okay. okay. And then on top of that, there are a few more things you can do. For example, what if, what if, as it's flying, you want it to hold on a GPS position? So how that happens is you can have it right here. You want to click on the GPS position. You can program one of these switches to fall on a GPS position. So you can turn it on and it and locks turn, it that exactly. aircraft in place. Yeah, and it'll just okay. hold it right there. Okay. So that's where the channels are so important. As you have more channels, mm -hmm. you have more options to program. In fact, sometimes you might have too many channels and uh, you don't have as many uh, options to program into. It's like too overwhelming, so yeah. to speak. Sometimes yeah. they say, you know, more is better than less. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's, that's a good example. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, but but aside mm -hmm. from the channels, uh, mm -hmm. Ramson, you mentioned like, like how channels increase flexibility. Aside from channels, mm -hmm. do we have any other relevant features that we have to look for in the transmitters? Yeah. Actually, there's a couple of more things. Uh, in fact, there's a slew of things, but there are a couple of things outside of the channels that make it very significant. Okay. That is the memory in these things. So what does that mean? Um, well, in a toy shop, when you go in, you buy one box, you have one remote and one toy. So it's only dedicating that one remote for that one toy. Right. Here, for this uh, lowest level, we have 20 memories. So which means you can use this for 20 different apparatuses. Okay, so you can actually save... The... You save the configuration of each apparatus okay. Okay, into the memory so that when you need to fly gadget A, then you switch it to gadget A okay. and you fly gadget A. You don't have to recalibrate gadget A. So each, for instance, let's say for gadget A, you have mapped out certain controls for gadget A. That will be saved? Yes. In this particular memory? Yes. And oh, it will okay. always fly gadget A consistently the way it is. In, 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 in the way you map out the control, mm -hmm. the levers or the joysticks? Or the joysticks, whatnot. mostly it's all about uh, fine tuned configuration. Oh, okay. okay. Because flying is a very precise matter. So when you fine tune something, you want to make sure you save that because that's really what makes it all the right, difference. Right. And then let's say you have gadget B, you just move it to gadget B and you're all ready. So that's the whole idea. And then 
For most videographers, the ones that are more experienced usually have about five or seven apparatus. On top of that, they'll have a few planes and a few helicopters just for kicks. So oh, by, the, okay. by the time they get into the stage where they are actually good at it, they have about 10 apparatus. Wow. In there. wow. Okay, or at least five, anyway. It's just right, normal. Right, it's just the way right. it is. <laughs> okay. It's like camera. Okay, you buy a camera and then you have yeah. a few lenses and soon you have three or four cameras. Yeah, you want to buy a smaller one and then maybe you want to buy something for backup. Exactly. For, for mm -hmm. your wife. Yeah. I don't know. And all these wonderful apparatus all come together. Yeah. And here, the beauty of it is that you only need one transmitter. Okay. Thank you once more, Romson, for sharing all these information and insights on transmitters and all the principles uh, regarding RC and flight and flying. No, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, great. Um, I'm sure we have more mm -hmm. uh, soon, more videos uh, for all of you out there. If you have any insights, feedbacks, or comments, please share and uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Yeah, and if you have any questions, you can also post it down there as well.